Ali Ghesta carries the uh, carries the burden of the ruler and also the responsibility of the ruler. So this uh, responsibility is not not charity. It's not benevolent. It follows uh, from what uh, uh, Rajendra Singh was trying to say that there's an Indian understanding about the gifts. That whatever you get, the universe is a great cycle of give and take. That you take something and you give something and keep the cycle moving. That, but if you take and from very different aspects of universe and don't return it, you consume it before having returned it. Then you are violating the dharma chakra. You are stopping it in between. So the error you are making is not not even sin. It is something more than that. It is an existential error that you make. That you are stopping the chakra which has been set into motion by Brahma himself. And the chakra is that uh, there is give and take between between different aspects of creation. And whatever you get as food as anam has come from after taking uh, aspects of different aspects of creation, those must be first returned before you start consuming. And without returning, if you consume, then you are, you are, uh, in fact, this, uh, this uh, uh, idea of the universe as a great dharma chakra is there in the third chapter of Gita. And there are about, I think, six verses of Karma Yoga where uh, Sri Krishna is defining. And Mahatma Gandhi is fascinated by these six verses. He's, he's telling students that if you have not learned Sanskrit, learn it today, just to read these six verses of Gita. And he's telling them, if you have not bought Gita, go and buy it today. If you are not read in, in, uh, in uh, Sanskrit, read it in whatever language you know. But you read it every day. It's going on and on. Uh, th that's what he's trying. There's a passage which says that he who eats without serving, without jhina, is a thief. And the passage is, istan bhogani vo deva dasinti yagya bhavitaha tera dattan pradayo bhyo yohunkte stene vasaha The one who without having performed the jhina, without having given back what has been taken from the different aspects of nature, he is like a thief. Egum pravartitam chakram naan vartke tihe yaha aghayur indriyaramo bhogam vartsa this is the final reason that this chakra has been set into motion. And uh, the one who doesn't keep it moving, doesn't do, who doesn't behave according to this chakra, he is a sinner, Kopartha. He is, he is immersed merely in the pleasures of the senses. The living of such a one is a waste. That's what the is saying. Uh, I will stop this Sanskrit thing here. Uh, no. Uh, one, that there's the discipline of ensuring there's a plenty, that's what the, the texts are saying. They're saying that this is not benevolence, this is just the, the discipline of being. This is the third, the society, Indian society, uh, accepts this discipline. It's not that uh, it, it creates institutional arrangements for ensuring that this happens. One institutional element, of course, is the institution of the class class, on which so much devolves. There is the institutional element of the state, on which a lot devolves. But then there are several other organizations that are created in this society to ensure, and to ensure that this discipline is followed widely. That nobody really in need of food, or need of shelter, in need of clothing, remains without it. Uh, I remember this one, which is very interesting, when the British uh, take over Mysore state, uh, this is the Tanjavur state, uh, the king of Tanjavur, Sir Poji Maharaj at the time, writes to the British resident there that uh, you are taking over the functioning of the Rajya. But I want to request you that uh, we are running these Anikshetras along, along the uh, coastal land. There are a large number of them. The Rani's of the household have been looking after them. And uh, where we do these things, whoever comes, uh, we, we give them food. If they don't take cooked food, we give them raw food. To the, uh, 
And we keep doing this all day and the late in the night, a bell is rung that if somebody is not yet taken food, he should come and receive his share of food. And uh, if somebody falls sick while he is here, then we take care of him till his sickness is not gone. And if he dies here, we take care of the, his children till they achieve, achieve maturity. And then he describes how they take care of the children, what all they do for the children. And then he says that uh, uh, these are coastal lands. And the, it often happens that the lands assigned to these chattans, the output of those lands is not sufficient. All that the chattans have to do. So it has been our, always our pleasure uh, as the rajas to make up that deficit. <coughs> and I request you, whatever, because we, and then he says, because we do this, 